right, I'm going to uh, give you a view of me sculpting on this uh, head from one point of view. Now I've already established uh, the size of the head that I'm going to do. And uh, it's going to be from there to there for the head. And I'm going to now bend right there and bring it down. Now to lock in the uh, armature so it doesn't move around on me. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Get this down. Applying the clay to the armature. I always do the profile of the head shape and that just, uh, you know, at the beginning, what that does, it gives me a uh, good idea of the size of the thing and then I just add clay to the sides and just uh, give me calipas. good. neck and uh, let's say the shoulders there we go now on my one camera all you see is a front view which is like looking at a dish head no form or sense, but uh, now we'll start shaping the head.
I truly hope you're enjoying this video uh, during this speeded up version of uh, my sculpting. Uh, if you would like to uh, learn a little bit more about my instructional DVDs, uh, of which I've got uh, probably a good 50 years of experience packed into these DVDs, um, little tricks, little things you can do uh, in your sculpting, please check out uh, the link in the video description below this video. Also, if you enjoy this video or my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and then click on the uh, follow uh, button in the subscription. All right, back to the video. back in the back and got myself a uh, green hanging file folder. I'll show you why I got one of those in a second here. First thing I need to do is cut the top of his head off. And the reason I'm going to do that, you'll see in a second. A little trick I came up with years ago how to uh, do a cowboy hat, or that matter, any hat. Okay, I heat up the uh, blade. My problem is I got the armature in there, so I got to cut around the armature. This is so that I don't get the hat badly positioned on his head. And I'll leave that wire in there. Anyway, I just made an outline of the uh, top of the head, and I uh, can't remember which part was the front, but anyway. Um, so now I'm, I'm using this uh, file folder uh, because it has a plastic, uh, kind of like infused paper, which makes it really nice for So I get the brim the same width from the uh, or depth from. 
thrown in your head all the way around. And I just connect the dots. center only because I've got uh, that uh, wire armature to contend with. Now, now. put this back. Keep it on there. I'm going to put a couple of screws down into the head. Should have really done this before I put it on the head. Oh well. It's been a while since I've done this. See now I can push it down over the like a worn out old hat. The nice thing about using the top of his head is you know right where to start the, the crown so that it doesn't overshoot the head and it doesn't undershoot it. You don't want a crown that cuts into the, to his head. I'm going to put a little clay right there. Just to anchor that right where I want it. Alright, we got the uh, character of the hat established. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. It frames in the face perfectly. And uh, that's what you're trying to do is build up the character of the hat to match the character of the person. Alright, that's going to do it for now, and uh, until next time, let me continue this piece. Good night. Or afternoon, or morning. <laughs> Whichever the case may be.